welcome to our next video. We moved from Heron Lake State Park up to El Vado State Park, which is located near Tierra Amarilla, New Mexico also. It's about 30 miles southwest of Chama, or about 100 miles north of Santa Fe. Out of Chama, you take Highway 6484 south to Highway 112, take a right on 112, and go about 12 miles to the El Vado State Park sign. Take a right there and go about four more miles into the park. The highway is very broken up, so be careful. It's four miles from the highway into El Vado State Park, so this is a beautiful drive. Curvy highway with lots of trees and we're pretty high up here in elevation still over 7,000 I'm sure it'll be uh, comfortable up here in July August we hope in the 70s and 80s and 50s at night should be good We are mostly interested in the non-reservation camping as we prefer not to be on a schedule. At Lovato State Park, there are 80 sites here and 60 of them are non-reserved and 20 are reserved. And those are the developed sites. The 20, of course, I believe they lots of them have electric. The reservation sites are clearly marked on the post in front of each one of them. Um, the rest of them are first come, first serve. Maybe that's a... Uh... Maybe that's a what you call it. We found three primitive camping areas in El Vado State Park. The peninsula, which is accessible only um, through Heron Lake State Park off of Highway 95. Um, the second one would be Lovato North, which is also accessed through the Heron State Park and Lovato West. All three have pit toilets, and I don't think any of them have water access. There were four developed campgrounds in the area where we stayed, with shaded picnic tables and rock pads. Flush toilets and hot showers are at Grassy Point Campground, and there's also a dump station and spigots there to get fresh drinking water. We camped at a developed site at Elk Run Campground on a ridge with a view of the lake and peninsula. There's great hiking here, fishing and boating and kayaking on the lake. The temperatures were in the 80s during the day here and 50s and 60s at night. Um, this is monsoon season. So while we were here, the mornings were clear and sunny and beautiful, and it rained every afternoon, which works perfect if you want to take a nap or read or relax. And then in the evening, you could have a campfire because it got nice again. Uh, for us, the cell service was really bad. AT&T and Verizon uh, were not dependable where we camp. There is some shopping in Tierra Amarilla, but the best shopping is in Chama, which is a ways away, so we had to prepare ahead uh, accordingly. There's a laundromat also in Chama with uh, touristy shopping and excellent restaurants. We recommend the boxcar. <laughs> There's lots of wildlife to be seen here, especially if you have binoculars, you can see deer and um, 
we saw a huge group of elk run across the highway so be careful of that lots of bird viewing also there are quite a few osprey nests here too and if you watch you can see them dive down and uh, get their supper and also there's um, some eagles that live up here if you like our videos subscribe to our channel hit that thumbs up button and we'll talk to you later.